So how do we demodulate FM? So there are, there are a couple of approaches and none of them they are really easy. And that's probably one of the reasons why FM is hardly used and, and also in terms of the um, information content um, in it. So, so therefore if we think of standard way of demodulating FM, then this is via, in digital systems at least, via a PLL, so a face lock loop. So I'm not going into detail here because this will be dealt with later when we're doing carrier recovery. And and it's it's used in um, FM radio, for example. So in analog radio. But in general, a face lock loop is quite complex. And um, the face modulation is much easier to demodulate. Um, okay, the other option would be that because we have two frequencies, what we could do is also we could just use our our um, ap our approach from the phase modulation and um, multiply our incoming signal here. So that's our input, what we receive, and multiply this here via F0. And um, and on the other side, we are multiplying this here by F1 and doing a low-pass filtering. And then, so if a 0 is transmitted, then obviously this one will go up. If a 1 is transmitted, this will go up. And um, so we could, for example, have a set-reset flip-flop here. So let's say this is here flip-flop and um, so this resets the flip-flop, this sets the flip-flop and then we're just sending sending the output here out and we're getting our um, bitstream out here. And um, so with that we are also able to demodulate FM. But um, as, I, as I said, FM is is not very often used nowadays, and so I've just tagged this on to the very end. And FM will show up in different other flavors, even in OFDM and um, other techniques where different frequencies are used. But pure FM, just by using two different carrier frequencies, is um, just not very economical. <laughs>